Hi everyone. Thank you for visiting our channel. Managers must make decisions about sales volume, pricing and costs and are concerned about the impact of their decisions on profit. Therefore, they need to understand the relations among revenues, costs, volume, and profit. Cost Volume Profit, or CVP, analysis provides managers with information for decision making. What is CVP? CVP analysis explores the relationship between sales revenue, cost, and their effect on profits. CVP analysis is also known as break-even analysis. Contribution Margin Contribution Margin CM, is the amount remaining from sales revenue after variable expenses have been deducted. CM goes to cover fixed expenses. Basically CM is the difference between price and variable cost. It is what is left over to cover fixed costs and then add to operating profit. Contribution margin ratio The contribution margin ratio is the contribution margin as a percentage of sales revenue. Break-even analysis The break-even point can be defined as, the level of activity at which a business makes neither a profit nor loss. Or the point where total sales revenue equals total expenses, variable and fixed, or the point where total contribution margin equals total fixed expenses. In summary, at break-even target profit is zero. Target Profit Analysis In addition to calculating the break-even level of sales, a company can set itself a target to achieve a certain level of profits. Margin of Safety Margin of safety is the excess of budgeted or actual sales revenue over break-even revenue. Expressed as a percent of budgeted sales value or in units above break-even level. In other words, the margin of safety indicates the risk of losing money that a company faces. How much can sales decrease in either volume or revenue before the company experiences a net loss? All of the above can be summarized in the following chart. The horizontal axis denotes units, the vertical axis counts sales and costs in money terms. The blue line is total revenues for every unit sold, the red line is total cost for every unit sold. The point where these two lines intersect is the break-even point. Operating Leverage Operating leverage is a measure of how sensitive net profit is to percentage changes in sales. With high leverage, a small percentage increase in sales can produce a much larger percentage increase in net profit. With a measure of operating leverage of 5, if a company increases its sales for example by 10%, net profit would increase by 50%. Multi-product analysis. What happens when a company has multiple products? In order to use the single product mix method, Managers must define a package or bundle of products and compute break-even or target volume for the package or bundle. Therefore need a weighted average contribution margin. First step, calculate sales mix which is the relative proportions in which a company's products are sold. Then, calculate the weighted average contribution margin which is calculated as, contribution margin of a product times the percentage of the product in the product mix. Finally calculate the break-even point of the mix. Assumptions and Limitations of CVP Analysis CVP analysis is based on a number of simplistic assumptions about cost behavior which undermine the model's effectiveness. One selling price is constant. The assumption is that the selling price of a product will not change as the unit volume changes. This is not wholly realistic since there is usually an inverse relationship between price and unit volume. In order to increase volume it is often necessary to drop the price. However, CVP analysis can easily accommodate more realistic assumptions. Two costs are linear and can be accurately divided into variable and fixed elements. It is assumed that the variable element is constant per unit and the fixed element is constant in total. This implies that operating conditions are stable and there are no major changes in worker efficiency. It also implies that the fixed costs are really fixed. When there are large changes in volume, this assumption becomes tenuous. However, if a manager is able to estimate the effects of a decision on fixed costs, these estimates can be explicitly taken into account in CVP analysis. 3. The sales mix is constant in multi-product companies. 
This assumption is invoked in order to use the simple break-even and target profit formulas in multi-product firms. If unit contribution margins are fairly uniform across products, violations of this assumption will not be important. However, if unit contribution margins differ a great deal, then changes in the sales mix can have a big impact on the overall contribution margin ratio and hence upon the results of CVP analysis. If a manager can predict how the sales mix will change, then a more refined CVP analysis can be performed in which the individual contribution margins of products are computed. For in manufacturing companies, stocks do not change. It is assumed that everything the company produces is sold in the same period. Violations of this assumption result in discrepancies between financial accounting profit and the profits calculated using the contribution approach. Important notice, yellow indicates inputs and assumptions that the user is able to change, blue cells are used for called up cells, and white cells with black characters indicates calculation cells. The model does not use a macro, all calculations are performed on the spot. And that's it, thank you for your time.